Okay, here's the next game. It's very similar to the second game. You're gonna roll. Go ahead and roll. Okay, so you roll the five. In this case, I'm gonna tell you the highest amount of money on the board. Interesting. And ask if you wanna switch. So in this case, I would tell you the highest amount of money left is 50. $50. Do you wanna roll again? Well, you know, if, well, you could, um, if you roll something other than, then if you decide to roll again, and if you, if you like, if, if you roll and then you, you get like a $10, Mm -hmm. And this is this first roll. Yeah. And then you don't know what this is. All I tell you is the highest amount is fifty, mm -hmm. and you got ten dollars. So you're pro you'll probably want to roll again to see if you get the fifty dollars. Okay. But then, but you could lose money. You also. could lose money. Let's see what happens to you. This time. Five. Oh, okay. So the five is off. So you got to roll again now. Okay. Okay, so you got five dollars. So you might say, "Oh shoot, I only got five dollars," but actually, you were better than when you got. Yeah. Okay, you want to play? Yeah, this game's kind of like the other one in reverse. It is kind of like because if other you get one. if you get this one, then you can you can win fifty dollars if you get a four or a nine. Yeah, three. So I say, okay, here's your chip. You can pick that if you want. But the highest amount of money left on the board is oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I can't tell twos from threes apparently. So I say, hey, you can have that if you want, but the highest amount of money left on the board right now is 50. Do you want to roll again or not roll again? I'm not going to roll again. You're not going to roll again. Okay. So Do you think there's ever a situation where you definitely wouldn't want to roll again in this Well, game? if you get the 50. Why? What would happen if you got because the 50? Because then they'd tell you the highest amount of money on the board is $20. And what would that tell you? They'd tell you have the 50. You have the 50. So, so you wouldn't you want to roll again. I want to switch. Okay. So you ready for your challenge question? All right. Sure. Which game would you rather pay, play? Which game do you think you're going to win more money in? This game or the second game? The one where I tell you the lowest amount of money. I think the lowest amount you win more. You win more? Well... Both of these games are a little bit more complicated yeah. to analyze, so we're not going to go through the analysis. Okay. But I want to. I just want to see what you think. Which game would you rather play? You'd rather play the game where I reveal the lowest amount of money. Well, and it's the same... I think it's the same... It's the same chance. There's only one fifth chance that you'll get the fifty dollars. Okay. So, I think they can. I think if you get the fifty if you get the fifty dollars, you win more money. So I think I'd rather play this game. Okay. Yeah, this is interesting because in this second game, you actually the thing you learn is that you're holding the highest amount of money. Yeah. Whereas the thing you learn in the first game is you're holding the, lowest. the lowest amount of money. So learning that you're holding the highest amount of money is pretty valuable, especially when the highest amount of money is so big. Yeah. Right? So turns out this game is, is a better game to play if, you're gonna, if you want to win a lot of money. Yeah. All right? All right. Cool. You like that, guys? Yeah. yeah. So this is, this is the money duck. And I'll show you, um, I'll show you the money duck on, on the screen um, after we turn the camera off, okay? Cool. All right. 